Hey guys, welcome to Food Tales. I'm Trinity and today I'll be having some Subway and some fish and chips. So I got my nails done today for Valentine's Day tomorrow. Um, on the camera it seems really nude but it's actually like tinted pink for Valentine's Day. So like a pinky nude. Anyways, um, oh my god, crazy shit went down in their nail salon. I gotta tell you guys this story. Um, but let me just get some food inside of me because I haven't eaten yet. The subway that I ordered was a tuna milk with tomato, cheese, beetroot, onion and mayo and hot sauce. I think that's all I ordered and I got a foot long because I didn't know that my mum bought me food. She bought me this fish and chips so I was just supposed to do subway. saucy look at that look at that all oh, that beetroot tuna cheese onion lettuce oh there's lettuce in there so mmm that's good that is a good sandwich mmm So I went to get my nails done. It's crazy, man. Like, I came in at 5 p.m., two hours before the shop was closing. And the door was, like, kind of closed. Like, it wasn't wide open. It was, like, halfway shut. Not even halfway. It was, like, three-fourths shut. So only that much was open. And I slid through. And then they look at me, and I'm like, oh, I just want my nails refilled. And they, they're like, yeah, yeah, sit down. And they were talking in Vietnamese. I don't look Vietnamese, I look more Chinese. And then they were like, oh, you do the refill. I don't want to do the refill. Like, there was like three girls. They're like, oh, but I'm supposed to go home soon. And then the other girls is like, so I'm busy right now. And yeah. I got the girl that was meant to go home by 6.30, which is an hour and a half. There's plenty of time to do my nails, refills too. So she did my nails and it really hurt actually, but I didn't say anything. It's a bit uneven too, but... You know, she just wanted to go home, I just wanted to go home, so I was just like, whatever. But, that's not the crazy story. Crazy story was that when I went in, this girl was like nearly getting her nails finished off here. Yeah? And then, um, when the lady just finished her nails, she's like, oh yeah, finished, yeah. That girl, like, I could tell straight away that she was, like, 14 or 15. She's one of those um, girls that do her makeup to look, like, 30, like, when you're actually 14. She got up. And then she bolted out of the store, like through the through the the door slit. Like she was really skinny, so she could just like run real fast. And her appearance, I don't know, man. It's just shady, just shady. And then they were talking to me, like, "What the fuck? Why that hoe or something? Like, why did no one stop her? Like." And then the manager was just like, okay, from now on, from today, just, just 
ask them to pay first before you do the, the nails so I actually had to pay for my nails first so I couldn't even say anything when she was doing my nails because like I already paid for it so she can screw up my nails if I criticize her so yeah crazy My mum said this was an oyster or something. Battered oyster. Mmm. What is that? Mm, I think it's a muscle. Battered muscle. You guys gotta try this combo. Mm. I paid it extra for the beetroot in him because I love beetroot. But you don't have to get beetroot if you don't want to. It's an extra 60 cent for beetroot. So just to review, I got Italian herbs and Spices, bread, a foot long, tuna, lettuce, onion, tasty cheese, mm, tomato, beetroot, ranch sauce, and hot sauce, hot, hot chili. Mm. And it is the bomb diggity, guys. You guys. I gotta try this man. Mm. Do you guys have subway in the country? Because if you don't mm, there's nothing really special about it. Like you could just make your own sandwich but mm. actually subway has its own flavour. I don't know. I think it's the bread they use or something. Yeah. But yeah, you're not like missing out like um, if you didn't have like a Hungry Jacks or a Burger King in your country, you're not really missing out. Like, no, no, I'm not saying Burger King isn't something that you shouldn't try or don't have to try. I'm just saying like, it's not like Burger King as in like, like I can't live without Burger King. But I can live without Subway, you know? Not that. Mm. This is like bad as shrimp. That's a really big shrimp. Or prawn. Prawn. We call it prawn here. Like P R A W N. Not the other one, guys. Because I said prawn last time and someone's. I said some other word that was inappropriate. Mmm, that's juicy. God, food is so good when you have a bad day. Mm. Funny story. I didn't want to get Subway. I've been feeling really shitty lately and I didn't want to eat that much carbs this week but I ended up eating carbs anyways which is okay because my body is used to eating a lot of carbs because I eat rice pretty much every day but today I just wanted to have um, a salad like a Caesar salad like I like the lettuce taste but I said like the meat and bacon and eggs and stuff and I love mayonnaise so that's my favorite salad and I went to sumo salad I tried to get the salad and they were like sorry we don't, don't do that those type of salads we only have salads like at the front like that lady was like talking to me like that I was just like okay then I was like okay then and I walked away 
So my other option was to get Burger King, which is a Whopper, because that's what I only order at Burger King. I don't order anything else unless I have to. When I mean I have to is when I'm filming Burger King with Bo and like maybe she wants to beef burger so I have to get chicken or something like yeah crispy chicken or something. So I settled for Subway because I still kind of want it to be not that unhealthy because Burger King is a lot more unhealthy than Subway. Mm. But I'm eating fish and chips anyways, what does it matter? I think I'm going on a rant today guys. Today was a really eventful day for me because, oh my god, after I got my nails done, right, I had to go try it to get food to film mukbang, right? And it was a really windy day, and my, I was wearing a skirt, yeah? And the wind blew really hard, so I flashed a couple people behind because the city's real busy, yeah? There's lots of people around. And... I was waiting for a tram here, and I looked behind, there was this guy. He seemed like in his late 20s or early 30s. He walks, he looks at me, he stops, and he goes and stands next to me. I'm just like, okay, then, is it, is it, I was like, shit, did I flash you? Like, I'm sorry if I did. <laughs> Mm. You guys really need to try this combo at Subway. I love it, man. Mm. And we're waiting for a tram. The tram comes. I get on the tram. He gets on the same tram as I get on the tram. Because there's five different trams. Like, yeah, sure. Maybe he gets on the same tram as me. Yeah? And then I get off the tram. And he gets off the tram, yeah? And then I started walking to Sumo Salad. And he walks the same way. I'm just like, okay. Like, you know, pre real vision. Like, I kind of look back a bit and... Yeah. And then I walk to Sumo Salad and get there. And then, yeah, you know what happens. I ask for Sumo Salad and they're like, sorry, we didn't do it. I was in a really bad mood. So I turned around and I just look him in the eye for like five seconds. And then I walk off. Um, he didn't follow me, I guess, any after that. But, like, I don't know. It just felt a bit weird. Like I, feel, I'm like I feel sorry if he, it was just a coincidence that he was going the same way as me, or I was going. But he kind of just stopped at sumo salad. Like he doesn't look like the type of guy to get sumo salad. But I just walked off, so I don't know what happened. So, yeah, I went to go get Subway because I was in a bad mood. <gasps> I really love the sandwich. I could have made glow to this sandwich. Mmm. There's a lot of people that don't like beef shrimp for some reason. Why is that? I don't know. I love beef trick, guys. Mm. Can't believe I spent 
$40 on refills for a bad job. Like, I could have just kept my nails from before, even though they had really bad regrowth. At least they were shaped evenly. Mmm. Mmm. Having a good, good sandwich after a long day. You know what? I'm glad that I didn't get the Caesar salad. You need some hearty carbs after a long, long day full of events that you can't even process because there's too many too many this is why I shouldn't leave the house I should never leave the house this always happened to me, to me. these events always happen to me like I could go out for one day and come back for five different stories to tell you guys man it's crazy but I don't like I kind of don't really want to leave the house because like you get sick a lot if you leave the house often. If you stay at home, you don't get sick. Because I've been at home for, like, a long time. Like, I haven't gone out often nowadays. And that's why I'm, I haven't been sick in, like, three, four months, which is... A record for me because I get sick every two weeks and then it never stops it never stops mm. I don't know if I should eat this now would it get soggy if I save it for later I think I'm just gonna take a couple more bites because I really oh, this is so good guys like this is this is my baby Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. This is one thousand four hundred calories for the foot long. But I don't care, bro. Like, been a long, long day. Mmm, that's how long that I go to to get my nails done. It's really popular. So, when it hit 5.45 or 5.30, I can't really remember the time, a woman walked in and was like, oh, I want to get S&S. &S. And they were like, do you have a reservation? And she's like, no. And then they were just like, oh, please come back to tomorrow and make a reservation if you're going to come after 5 p.m. So I'm like, oh my god, I just made it because I did not have a reservation. I came in at 5 p.m. So yeah, they just kicked it out and I'm like, okay, okay, girlfriend. Mmm. That's a good, good, good sandwich. Okay guys, that's the end of my mukbang. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. Bye.